Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the main card opening, which is absolutely disgusting. This should be the first fight on the prelims. It should be all the way down. We know nothing about Bo Nickel. Even if he beats Brundage, we still know nothing. Brundage is not some great fighter. What, what are we doing here? Bo Nickel, 5-0, minus 2,500 favorite. 28 years old, 6'1", with a 76-inch reach, fighting Cody Brundage, who's 10-5, and 2-3 and three in his last five fights. Um, and one of those wins are a disqualification against Jacob Malkoon. Did destroy Zacharyse. Sure, fine. Plus 1,200 underdog, 29 years old, 6 foot tall, with a 72-inch reach. 4-inch reach for Bo Nickel with 1-inch in height. Again, Cody Brundage isn't great. He's 10-5. and five. He's 4-4 four and four in the UFC, and he's been finished two times. You know, the, the thing about it is he's fought good opponents. That's the reality. He's fought good opponents. Did lose to William Knight in the Contender Series, um, but debuted against Nick Maximov, lost the decision, and then fought Dolce Luambola, beat him by uh, guillotine, was in some trouble with the striking, uh, destroyed Trishan Gore. This is the thing. Fought Michelle Olin Chechek. I know he was just finished by Michelle Pereira. I get it. Fine. He's still 17-5. and five. And he lost. Late for, or, you know, a little past middle of the first. And then lost to Rodolfo Vieira, who's very good, even if he's only 8-2 and two at this time. And then lost to Cedric Dumas, which a big part of that loss was him kept jumping submissions. That's the biggest thing. Um, beat Jacob Malkoon, which wasn't really a win, but again, did destroy Zach Reese. He's, he's fought better competition. He's fought better competition than Bo Nickel. Again, the issue is, is if Bo Nickel is able to get these takedowns or get in on takedowns, will Cody jump those guillotines again? Will Cody jump submissions again? I, w I, I would assume not. But also, Bo does have some have some fast hands. But again, we know nothing. We know nothing. Val Woodburn stood right there in front of him on short notice. We don't know anything. Val Woodburn seven and zero. Jimmy Pickett thirteen and eight. Seven and one for Donovan Beard uh, was submitted by Gordon Ryan, but that doesn't really mean anything really, um, just because it's not MMA. And Gordon Ryan's the best you know grappler in the world, so. <laughs> You know, he was supposed to fight Trishan Gore, which I would be very interested in seeing that matchup. Cody has fought the better competition. That's the reality. Now, if he gets wrestled, if he if he goes in there, and you're going to find out very quick what Bo's going to want to do. Is Bo going to go right in there and try striking? I like Brundage in that aspect. Is Bo going to go in there and strike and then immediately go over takedowns? I like Bo. Now, the odds say Bo, uh, Bo Nickel should absolutely dominate. Well, okay, but there's only been one person to dominate Cody Brundage. One, and that's Michelle Olin Jack. William Knight, sure, fine. Nick Maximoff was competitive in moments, but Michelle Olin Jack was the one person to dominate him. Don't tell me Dumas because Brundage was putting himself in those positions. Michelle Olin Jacek would be a very interesting fight for Bo Nickel. I'm going Cody Brundage, plus 1,200. Let's go, Brundage crew. Let's go, buddy. As always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what you guys are picking. Peace.